Now I want to show you how I do rope solo. In this case, top rope, so the rope is already attached on the top. This is what I use. At first, I use my climbing technology roll and lock. I attach them to two ropes. The rope has got a knot on the top, so it cannot slide through the anchor. I make sure they are both attached correct, and I attach them to one big carabiner. Now I use two short brusics. These brusics are a backup to the roll and lock. The roll and lock slides the brusic up, and as soon as the roll and lock fails, the brusic engages the ropes. Now I attach the brusix to a second carabiner and close it. Now I bring some tension in the rope so I can see my setup works. At next I will use this Ropeman 2 by Wild Country. When using an ascender underneath another ascender it's important that the ascender works when it's weighted from the top because when the ascenders on top will fail they will push on the ascender underneath. For example, the Petzl shunt will not work in this situation. Now I bring some more tension to the rope and already sit in my harness. And now I do a simple overhand knot or a figure of eight on the lower end of the rope. Since we want the rope to slide through the ascenders by itself, we need to weight the rope. For this I use this backpack with the Petzl Fifi attached to it and hang it into the loop of the knot. Now I sit into my harness completely so I can see if there's enough free space underneath my weight. Otherwise it would unhook itself. Everything is fine so I can start my climb. I'm climbing up and when I'm on an area where I think it's a bit tricky or I might fall I can slide up my ascenders so the fall impact is even lower. Now I sit into my harness and this was yeah, some kind of a fall. After a fall you might have to loosen up the brusix since they can cinch down on the rope. And of course always check your devices that they still work properly. We have got five devices that can stop our fall, so this setup is almost the safest one you can make. I just reached my top rope anchor. You can see I used two screw gate carabiners of gates in opposite directions. Now I can sit into my rope and secure myself with my sling. Now the Fifi hook comes into play. With some short tucks on the rope, the Fifi hook unhooks itself and the rope is not weighted anymore. Now I do a big stop or knot before I detach all my ascenders. The rope man has to be done completely, but the roll and locks can be locked open so they will not engage the rope. I can use these brusix to secure my rappel. Since there is a big knot on top of the rope, I can use one single strand to rattle down. I bring all my weight to my rappel device and can undo my sling. When I'm sure everything is done properly and I'm safe, I can undo my stopper knot to start my rappel.
back on the ground, I only have to remove my rappel device. I'm still safe since there is a big stopper knot on the end of the rope and both brusics are still on the rope. You can see the backpack isn't hooked to the loop anymore. If you are next to a cliff, make sure to attach or to secure your backpack to a bolt before you start climbing, otherwise it might fall off the cliff. To climb up again, I just have to reset my roll and locks and now I test them and give some weight to the rope. Now I have to reattach my rope man. To weighten the rope I just have to hook my backpack into the loop. You can also attach a weight with a carabiner, but since repelling with a weighted rope isn't easy, I prefer it that way. Now everything is set up again, I can climb up the rock. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Bye.